Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of PVM to Max Gear. This is your boy, Mouse, and today we are going to be grinding to try to complete the Challenge Mode Chambers of Zarek log. I know, it sounds like a lot, but I am very close. Now, we are still hunting for a kit for our Ancestral, but I uh, don't know if I'll get that. At least anytime soon. I mean, I am going to be grinding for it, so expect that in the next episode. But in this one, enjoy my journey of completing the Challenge Mode Chambers of Zarek Long for Purples. So I wanted to start off this video by doing some Vorkath, but I need to do the Fremenic Elite Diaries. Here is the Easy Diary. Here's the Medium Diary. Here is the Elite Diary. Here is Throne of Miscellanea completed. And there is the Fremenic Hard Diary. And now it's time that I claim my reward. So I just got these lamps. I'm going to put them on agility. There's 15,000 agility XP. And then we're going to rub the one for the elite diary. And here is 50,000 agility XP. With that, we have our Fremenic boots. And now we can go do some Vorkath. All right. Finishing up our first kill at Vorkath. Uh, not too bad. I didn't expect a Vorkath's head. But I guess I'll just put that in the collection and uh, move it on. So, Vorkath, admittedly, is not really my favorite boss in the world. Um, I'm more of a Zora type of guy. Uh, but I, I did want to just kind of visit this boss. And, I don't know, I wanted to try my uh, boots out and just kind of poke around a little bit. It's about 100-200k per kill, like, on average. So, why not take advantage of that and make a little bit of bread? You'll probably see me switching between range and melee throughout this video. I just wanted to kind of test both and see which one I liked more, but there's some dragon plate skirts. For anyone looking to get into Vorkath, this Slayer Staff that I'm holding in my hand, it's called a Slayer Staff. It auto-casts Crumble Undead, so definitely give that a look because I know a lot of people manually cast Crumble Undead, and that only really gives you uh, one click. There's no real... Uh, margin for error there but with the staff here you can accidentally misclick the little spawn minion thing and even if you yellow click you can just re-click it uh, as long as it's as long as your staff is equipped and isn't on autocast so definitely give that a try to any new people that want to try this boss out because it has probably saved me a lot of deaths I needed a break from Vorkath, so here is 97 fishing. We are getting so close to 99, it's not even funny. I'm so excited. Like, I'm so excited. I am trying to max in the background as well, so there's 82 Hunter from only birdhouse runs. I'm not really an egg collector, so I gamble them immediately, and we didn't get a piece, so I'm kind of sad, but maybe next time. All right, finishing up a kill here. This is kill count number 559 for not really anything. Well, you have your bad drops and you have your good drops. Here is an example of a good drop at kill count 562. It always feels so good leaving with a nice full inventory. And here is, oh, thank you for turning off my prayers for me. Here is kill count 574, the dragon battle axe. That is what I'm talking about. We love seeing green text on the ground and that is what part what makes workout very addicting is just seeing the good loot. Another one hitting the dirt there. Kill count number 577 for some dragon bolts. Kill 582. Decided to do this clue scroll. So we got one hard casket here. Wow, that's actually really fucking bad. I died. I didn't get it on video, but I died. Decided to switch back to melee here for the big kill number 600. And a not, not a bad drop either. Now, I'm not much of a lore guy myself, but I'm convinced Vorkath eats other dragons. Black dragon hide, green dragon hide. Hmm, interesting. Just in case anyone was wondering, I do get these notifications when someone subscribes, so thank you guys very much for all of that. I, it really does mean a lot when I'm grinding these grinds or uh, skilling. It really does mean the world to me because, like I said, I received them all. I have OBS open because I'm always uh, recording uh, at all times just in case anything happens. And um, it means a bunch, so thank you. Well, back to Vorkath for some dragon bolts. Hey, there it is, the dragon plate skirts on kill count number 606. Number 613. 617. Hey, another sub. Thank you so much, brother. 621. Up to an 11 mil profit so far on Vorkath. Not bad. Kill count number 629 for some adamant ore. That's fucking shitty. 
Kill count number 633. There's the Dragon Bolts we were looking for. Hell yeah. Alrighty. Kill count 635 for an over 400k drop, dude. Holy shit, dude. So I decided to send a cheeky little challenge mode, and homie got a Dex. So that means a cool 10 million for myself. And there it is. 10 million GP. And it was at this point of work that I started to realize... <laughs> I just made what I made at Vork in just one raid at challenge mode. Maybe we start to do a little transition, yeah? <laughs> just kidding, here is 639 kills at Vorkath for the coveted Dragon Battle Axe. Yep, a nice full inventory, just how we like it. So I couldn't just get a deck split and then not go back to Chambers of Zarek, so we decided to go for the back-to-back, -back, at least for me. And, um, well, <laughs> we got another Dex. Another 10 mil in the bank. Easy money. Well, the golden rule is if you get a purple, you have to send it again. And no purple this time. Sadly, no back three back, but I'm not going to complain. Easy 20 mil. But I'll take it. All right, another one. D Perfect ohm. And we do raids? Ah, uh, yeah, I definitely got to add these boys. Two purples, one white, and then another purple. Another dex. I've made 30 mil today on raids already in just four raids. I, I, how can you not do this content? Another 10 mil in the bank. It's starting to get pretty uh, serious. And um, I've had a lot of people request that I make a CC and shit. And um, I feel like this is my opportunity to really start growing my community, you know, in a, in a really good direction. And... Um, I just told him, I was like, I'm going to leave the clan and make... My own clan, you know, because this is the way that it has to be for the sake of my content com and my community, you know, because my community is the first thing that comes that, that my community is my priority when I'm making content, you know, so and without them, I wouldn't be anywhere. So I told my clan, I was like, sorry. <laughs> I gotta go, man. Like, um, it's the way it's gotta be, you know? It's the way it's gotta be. You heard that right. If you wanna join a friendly clan and uh, come hang out with your boy, I'll go ahead and leave everything you need either in the description uh, and I'll also just drop the name here. I did have my private on for a while, but I was getting some funky messages, so I turned it back off. So if you wanna join, the clan go ahead and come in as a guest at 99 gp and i'll go ahead and get you in the clan otherwise i'll drop the discord link down in the description but resuming we decided to start up on a little chambers of zaver grind uh i do need my last kit from this place i am extremely dry for my last kit and um that's all i'm here for i don't care about purples i don't care about anything else I just want the kit so that I can do other content, and I've decided I'm not going to stop until I get my kit. What, an Elder Maul? An Elder Maul? You're trolling. You're trolling. Um, that could have been a twisted bow. That could have been a twisted bow. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found ourselves... A champion. Another egg, another nothing. I don't want to talk about it. And with that, that's 438 challenge mode chambers of Zarek without my third kit. Kill count 439. No kit. 440. 441. Decided to take a break, and here is 1k forest task completed. One medium casket for... Oh, a Master Clue Scroll book. I actually haven't had this in a while, but I do have like three of them, so... 442, 443, 444. Hey, more eggs to use. Let's see if we can get anything from them. One and two, nothing. 445, 446, 447, 448, baby. Still no kit. Oh, a buckler. Look at that. Hey, you know what? 
Seeing a purple is better than just seeing a white chest all the time, so I'll take it. That's a nice, uh, nice little humble split there. All right, 3.25 mil. Thank you very much. I'd have to say, watching people struggle at crabs is probably some of the most relatable content in this entire game. <laughs> and with this raid, number 450 officially marks me as four times dry for my last kit from Challenge Mode Chambers of Zarek. I got my first two at exactly 150. So it has been 300 challenge mode chambers of Zarek. And I can't get my last kit. Alrighty. Alrighty. 451. One medium casket. What? Uh, okay. Back at it again with the crabs, my boy. <laughs> oh, good night, brother. We'll be seeing you later. Hey, first one in, you know, we're gonna pull that ass sneaky either. We're gonna either pull a kit or a T-boat this raid. Yeah, we didn't pull a kit or a T-boat that raid. 453 kills. Get me out of here. 454. Certainly I won't die here, right? Surely. Surely. Oh, I'm a be- I'm a beast. 8 HP. White chest on my chest. 455. Oh, you know, despite how dry we are on a kit, it's all good because this happened. That's right, the ancestral hat. And yes, it is a collection log. My last piece on the collection. I have completed my log at Chambers of Zarek minus the pet and my last kit. Of course, I still need the capes for, like, you know, just overall kill count. But that'll come in time, so I don't count that. Kill count number 458. You're always like, I got, you're always like, I got all. So I just assumed that you were going to grab him, bro. Dude, Adam really fucking switched up, bro. <laughs> he just gets mad as fuck about everything, and then he makes a mistake, and it's like, oh, bro, I even know. <laughs> <laughs> bro just like spaces out in the middle of melee hand and literally fucking kills an mp3 and he's like bro i didn't even know that was gonna happen but i did it though so it's fine if any of you guys did it i would have flamed the fuck out of all of you but since i did it it's fine i just didn't know I wouldn't have this raid any other way. <laughs> I'm gonna rush Vanguards, which means the first 10 brews that I make, I'm gonna pull them out the chest before I go down there, and then... <laughs> gone. Yeah. That's why he likes the ultimate so much. That's one something they have in common. They both no brews in their inventory. <laughs> you still play... <laughs> Adam, I got a question. Do you still play Among Us, bro? <laughs> he does. He does on the low key. <laughs> he is officially retired from Among Us. Yeah? <laughs> this guy was so shocked. This guy did it, and I fucking saw it instantly, and I screenshotted it, and then I sent it to him the next day after he changed it. He's like, bro, I only heard that for like five minutes. <laughs> I'm just gonna go down here with, uh, with what I got, honestly. I, mean, I think Vanguard is almost done at this point, right? Getting close. Wait. Not even close. I don't think anyone actually rushed this time, surprisingly. Oh, wait. Yeah. No one's down here. My <laughs> I remember when no Adam one's in Vanguard. Yeah, we actually genuinely don't have any seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Get to it. I dropped shit on Oh, okay, here's some seconds in the chest. All I'll just sudden... go fucking get juice, bro. No, do not run back. With yeah, I dropped shit on the, I drop shit on the ground. I have juice. I have out. juice. Hold on. I have I'm juice. on the way. Just let me make my shit. Bro, I dropped the vials <laughs> on the ground and one of you fucking bitches picked them up, I swear. Why do you drop vials on the ground? It takes know. one second to just get them from the I tree. Put, no, I put some in the chest, right? And then I put some and I dropped some on the ground. <laughs> Seven juice into the chest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be enough. I 
Yeah, I'm sorry I don't sit there with, like, sweat beating down my fort every raid because I need to, like, MVP to impress the fucking fake girl that's in the raid. <laughs> the mouth breather. You literally have, like, a fucking water park on your keyboard right now, bro. Like, your shit's gonna stop working if you sweat anymore. <laughs> the way he said a fucking water park, bro. Water park turns into gamer goop, dude. And here's kill count number 459. I hope you enjoyed some of that banter between uh, me and the bros. Uh, I'm thinking about making more challenge mode videos where we just absolutely roast each other the whole video. So let me know if you want to see that down below. I did something like that in the past. Yep, back to fishing. Actually feels pretty good after grinding so fucking much. Kill count number 460. 461. I'm really starting to become a little bit worried about if I'm ever going to receive my kit, to be honest. Maybe I'm just being a little dramatic, but like, holy man. 463. 464. And uh, this is where I'm probably going to let out the video. Um, we did not receive the kit. However, we did finish the log. So as for achieving something great, <laughs> we did that this video so even though we didn't get the kit like i said i'm very satisfied with the outcome of this video um we also made uh, a good bit of money over at vorkath and overall we, we probably made around with all purples included we probably made like 100 125 mil so i'm pretty satisfied um there's 85 agility as well so <laughs> anyways i just want to kind of leave you off with this and um just a huge thank you to everyone who's been supporting me in the channel. Um, it's been kind of a grind lately, but I'm trying to make sure every video has uh, a lot of meaning in it. And if you enjoyed this video, you already know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe, and um, comment your favorite part of the video down below. And I'll see you in the next one. By the way, I want to keep grinding chambers until I get my kit. Like, I don't want to do anything else. I just want to get my kit. It's been this battle that I've been facing in the series, and I just want to get it done. So expect a lot of Chambers of Zarek in the next video. Alrighty, thank you all for watching. Bye!